Welcome to the blogging set. It is week two. Last week we had some awesome French toast and this week, guess what we have? One of my absolute favorites, carrot cake. But not just any carrot cake, this is healthy carrot cake. Andrea and I have been setting up for our shoot to shoot photos of these ingredients before we actually make the recipe for the blog, Cook for Folks, Cooking for Large Groups. And it has been a lot of work, to be honest. We've been doing this for more than two hours, literally just setting up these ingredients, setting up the equipment, the lights, and all of that. We're just getting to the point where we can start putting them together and actually making the cake, and then we have lots more work to do after that. But for today's video, I actually wanted to go back to the basics and talk about keyword research. When we decided we were going to do this blog about cooking for large groups, we did our research, of course, and determined that there were cracks and room for us to write articles and get traffic to our website. Then after that, we did our keyword research and figured out what articles we wanted to write that we thought there was potential to get eyes on those articles, get traffic, and ultimately get monetized. And that is a lot of work. I'm sure if you've done a blog before, you know that already. We spent more than four hours sitting down and actually just finding these keywords, finding the right articles that we thought would be winners. We got more than 70 terms, more than 70 article titles, and we want to get at least 100 because we want this blog to be successful over the long term. Of course, you have to wait months to see any turn in investment. Uh, so we're kind of taking a gamble in here, but we are setting ourselves up for the best possible outcome that we can. And ultimately we want to get monetized, right? With affiliate marketing, hopefully info products, maybe a course. So we're just going for the whole shebang and hoping for the very best. So I wanted to talk to you about that original keyword research. So today I'm gonna go in depth about what I did in the very beginning to find those search terms that people are looking for within this niche. People are looking for answers to their questions. They are looking for specific recipes that they can make for large groups. They're looking for accessories, different utensils, ovens, cooks, cooker, cook things. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. But people are looking for these terms and we are trying to be the answer, the solution to their problem, right? So we are trying to find that like golden nugget on the interwebs in the Googles, right? <laughs> so I am going to go more into that in just a second, but we have got to get this cake in the oven or it's never going to be done because we have to take pictures of the final product for the website. All right, guys, we have the carrot cake in the oven. And let me tell you, it took quite a while. It took us about an hour to take photos and B-roll and create the recipe, which is a little bit longer than baking a normal carrot cake, right? It shouldn't take that long, but this is for the blog. This is for content for our blog, Cook for Folks. So we have to make sure and take some really good professional photos. That's what people see when they go to the blog. That's what we have to rely on. We don't have video. We have our good, well-written, blog posts and then also our visual content is the photos itself so they have to be on point. Now back to what I was talking about earlier which is your keyword research that you do mainly in the beginning of your blogging journey. I already did this for Cook for Folks. We came up with more than 70 ideas and we want to get like a hundred ideas but I kind of wanted to give you a behind the scenes look of what we did and then some pointers for you as you get this process starting or if you kind of want to go back and reevaluate some of the things that you did so you can create those hopefully winning blog posts, right? A lot of people think that keyword tools are what you need to find those winning uh, 
articles or those winning topics, right? But truly, we don't believe here at Income School that you can rely on those keyword tools. We rely on our own system, which I'm gonna talk to you about, but if you want the full tutorial from start to finish for blogging and YouTube, you have to uh, look into Project 24 because it's amazing and we've helped hundreds of people start their blogs and become successful and ultimately monetize YouTube, their blogs, so they can create a passive income. We rely on our own process, which Income School, Jim and Ricky have created on their own through years and years of experience and creating dozens of niche websites. They've learned how to make successful websites and also successful blog post. We have an amazing tool within Project 24 that you can use to organize all of your research for your topics. This is actually my keyword research uh, tool here. And here to the left, you'll see different search phrases. Now these ultimately will become what we call our titles or our blog posts, but this is the topic of the article. Then we create the title over here, and then ultimately we want to uh, show how many words it's going to be, how long it will take to write the article, and then directions for us to do our original research. Now, Within this channel, I will say that I am writing a lot of the content, but we are also outsourcing some of the content because we are wanting to speed up this process and get the blog going so eight months down the road, we can really see what kind of traction we do get to this website. That is a great tool for you. If you are feeling overwhelmed on your own and you have to write dozens of blog articles, why not hire some people to write some articles for you? There's nothing wrong with that. That is something that you can do because a lot of people, you know, you have have your full-time job and this is like your side gig, then you have your family, you have your other obligations. So it gets to be a little bit overwhelming. So you might want to consider that. When I go in and actually do my keyword research for those blog posts, I actually go into Google, but you're gonna wanna go into the mode where you're not logged in, incognito mode. You are gonna do that by pressing Command Shift N and that will open up a new browser that you are not logged into and supposedly it's random. And then you go to google.com. We're gonna start with some of the biggest topics within this niche, right? So I want you to, before you even look in Google, before you look in those keyword tools, just think of ideas on your own without having any outside influence. What are some of the moments that someone who might be cooking for a large group go through. Maybe they are having a family reunion. Maybe they're having a holiday event, like a Christmas dinner, a Thanksgiving, Easter. Maybe you're having a picnic or 4th of July, some sort of buckaroo breakfast, whatever. It doesn't matter. Those are different moments. They're going to need different equipment. They're going to need different utensils, uh, different foods. Some foods are not going to be possible to make for these large groups and others are better to make for them. Then within those moments, actually think about what people are searching for. Okay, so say someone is having a family reunion and they're cooking for a group of at least 20, okay? So what are they gonna Google search? They're gonna probably Google search how to cook for 20 people. They're probably gonna search recipes for 20 people. What do I need to cook for 20 people? Then that's where you see what comes up in Google. So I'm gonna Google how to cook for 20 people. Okay, so you've got a couple little things here, but already it looks like there's not a whole lot. There's not really even a snippet. I mean, it looks like there's like some sort of YouTube video here that's kind of the snippet, but nothing that's jumping out. There's no, no photos really until you get down here. It could be a possibility. And if it is a possibility, then you do your original research and you do better. But we probably want to narrow it down even more than that. So we'll go back up. We will search for recipes for 20 people. Okay, so recipes do come up. And you can see there are quite a few recipes. 
So you might want to narrow it down even more. Okay, so think of like a recipe that someone would want to make for 20 people or so. How to make fruit salad for 20 people. How about that? Okay, so we've got a few that come up. Um, let's try, looks like it's pretty saturated with that one. Let's try how to make beans for 20 people. Comes up with chili for a crowd, red beans, baked beans, simple beans, easy beans, big batch beans. Maybe you narrow it down even more than that. So you start to see the more and more that you narrow it down, the more options you have. And most likely within my niche, this niche, I'm gonna see results for a lot of these things. Improve on the articles that have already been done or put more depth into them, put more research, do my own research. People will appreciate that. Here we are back here in this keyword research tool. Now, not only are there recipes, but there are a lot of other things that people are considering when they are cooking for a large group, right? What kind of pots do you need? What commercial mixer do you need? How to cook food for a large group on a budget? How to keep large amounts of food warm? Call at least two caterers and get quotes for a dinner for a large group. That's how we're going to perform our original research and get a true answer. Because think about it, when you are reading a blog post, would you appreciate something like that? I called three caterers in the Northwest and the options or the, the range was between, this is not, I don't know how much caterers <laughs> charge by the way, between like 300 and $500. And here's a list of caterers in your area um just give more details like that so those again are examples of things you can do the point is you want to get fairly obscure and pretty specific you don't want to do just general search terms within your uh, niche you want to answer those specific searches again you want to be the solution to people's problems you want to be the answer to their problems you want to target that exact question and that is another good point is you want to make sure with your title you want to title it just like the answer to their question and you want to make sure that you use those words that they search for in your title and in your blog. Make sure that you do that. So best large pots for cooking for a crowd. That's a search somebody did. Well, we titled it the five best large pots for cooking for a crowd. Best commercial mixer was another search term. Best commercial mixer in 2020. You just wanna make it very, very obvious. All right, so that is the beginning of keyword research. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As you probably just heard the timer go off, it is time for me to go check that carrot cake because I do not want it to burn after all of that work. But keep watching these videos. I am not done with these yet. Go and check out Project 24 because we have such an in-depth course and tools for you to use from start to finish. And until next time, we'll see you later.